get it set up. And we're gonna focus. Ah! All right, how's it going, guys? I'm back. Uh, you guys saw my last video. I'm out of the hospital now. Um, yeah, sorry it took so long to get this video uploaded. I want to share with you guys what's been going on. Um, so we got out of the hospital. I wanted to go see family right away, and I got super sick. Um, went out, went out of town to see family. There was a, a family member there I haven't seen in like seven or eight years. Uh, they came from out of state and they had allergies and were coughing and sneezing and all this stuff. And we're like, oh, you know, it's just allergies. It's going to be okay. And it turns out Jenny and I both were very sick. Um, and of course that sucks because I just got out of the hospital. So I was scared to death I was going to go back in. But it wasn't like exacerbation sick. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but I for sure can. When I have an exacerbation, I'm really like tired and like, uh, you know, coughing up a bunch of stuff and low grade fevers and just kind of short of breath and um, that kind of thing. Like a, a, it's like a dull, pathetic feeling. But when I have a viral infection, like a cold or a flu or something, it's way worse. Like it's just, I, I feel like death. Uh, you know, we had a high grade fever. Um, I was a little short of breath, it wasn't too bad, but sleeping all the time just felt awful i'd wake up and just oh it's is i mean i don't understand how to describe it guys like it was so bad but um anyway it was viral jenny and i were both sick and we were sick for like a week's time um she actually got uh confused because i actually started getting, feeling better before her but um uh, as you guys know i was using the oils i was like it's the oils so she ended up starting to use them and uh we both got better so it's been about a week now that i got over that and that was over a week so it's about two weeks now that I've been out of the hospital, maybe three almost. But uh, anyway, I'm feeling great now, guys. I've been able to go back to the gym. Um, my PFT did not test again because my clinic doesn't really like to test at the end of your hospital stay if before or in the beginning of your hospital stay, whatever, you're at your baseline, which I was. Um, so I was kind of you know, disappointed about that. But um, as soon as I got out, I was in asked to test again and of course I got sick so why test I'm sick and anyway long story short things are going good now don't know my PFTs I go back to clinic in a week and a half or two I will test then I'll show you guys what they are I'm thinking they're gonna be great um, I've been making a priority at the gym now where I do the stair climber for at least 10 to 15 minutes every single day before I lift weights so I'm trying to stay on that trying to see if it makes a difference and it's hell guys like I uh, I really like it because you go so slow and your heart rate is stays high like you know my heart rates in the 160s the whole time but it is like a slow painful death like it hurts so bad and uh, anyway it's hard to push through but I, I put on my YouTube videos and uh, not mine but you know I put on someone else's YouTube videos and uh, just push through it so that's been going really well. Um, right now, I'm outside Best Buy. I got people looking at me like I'm crazy um, because I'm gonna go get some more video camera, video camera, video equipment. Um, I'm gonna try to find a stand. It's called a Gorilla Pod, and it's like a stand that has three legs, and then you can bend the legs and like wrap them around stuff. And so the exciting news is, um, anyway, I think I'm gonna start being able to film for you guys gym footage. You know, I haven't been able to film before in the gym because either one, the gym didn't really want me to film footage in there. Uh, they don't really want, you know, I guess the whole public or anybody seeing what's inside. And then also, um, you guys know, like if you're at the gym and you are on your phone, that's like just a, a known fact, like that's not good. Uh, because you're on your phone, you're taking up the equipment that you're sitting on or using, and other people are probably waiting for it. So, um, can you imagine if I wasn't on my phone, but yet I was setting up a camera? Like that's probably gonna take longer and people would be really mad. So, anyway, long story short, I'm excited because I'm gonna start filming gym footage for you guys. I'm gonna try to save every Friday, if not Saturday, um, as a day of lifting and show you guys my workouts and what I do in there and, and try to explain stuff for you guys. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and go in Best Buy and get things set up and see what they have and hopefully have a gorilla pod. So for all you guys wondering, this is the camera that uh, I have. It's called the uh, Sony RX100 Mark IV. I'm gonna try to find these gorilla pods. I hate coming in Best Buy, I really don't like Best Buy for various reasons with support and stuff. But uh, anyway, it's whatever. 
try to get this gorilla pod and get out of here so I don't have to spend too much time. I'm all about Amazon Prime. Oh, that rhymed. How <laughs> that did too. That's pretty cool. I don't see any. This might be trouble. All right, guys, look what I found right here. This is what I want, the gorilla pod. And it has these legs that are bendable. So I got mine over here. So it looks like that. You can wrap it around things. Um, pretty cool stuff. So hopefully I'll be able to film at the gym with you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this and head on. All right, guys. I ended up getting the uh, gorilla pot I showed you. So we'll see how it is. I'm about to open it in the car and test it out. See if it's gonna work good. It's about to get in Poseidon. Uh, here's my, I don't know if I showed you my car yet, but it needs a wash. But uh, not looking too bad. Um, one exciting thing is we have a new channel. I wanted to wait till it was official to announce anything. Um, it's it's official now because we have a Facebook, a Instagram, uh, the YouTube channel, and a Twitter. So um, anyway, you guys follow me on Instagram. You probably see me right now. Uh, the name of the channel is gonna be Staying Salty, and it's seven of us. We interviewed people um, in order to be a part of this channel, and so we had over 40 people, 40 CF patients, uh, interview and apply for uh, being a part of the channel. So it's really cool because. We, uh, you know, we, we got, we had the idea, we had the vision, we laid out the guidelines that we want, the requirements that we want. Um, you know, we try to look for different people from all different lung functions, um, all different ages, not all different, yes, most of us are in our 20s or 30s, but uh, all different uh, ages, lung functions, you know, male, female, um, and then also just different experiences, different stories. So uh, we think we captured that. We, we, we think we got it. Uh, we started asking people and talking to people and turned out there's a huge interest so we had to make applications and that was really cool because it's like oh my gosh you know like there's a lot of interest in this so we ended up making applications and I uh, advertised on my Facebook my YouTube and or not sorry not my YouTube but my Instagram and uh, a little bit on Twitter and we had over 40 applicants um, some people still didn't even know about the channel and stuff like that so anyway big deal we went over and we interviewed uh, a handful of people and um, try to narrow them down the best we could. We didn't want to get lung functions that were um, just incredibly high to where they're in the hundreds and you know they didn't have a lot of CF experience as far as like being in the hospital and, and going through all this stuff. So you know they wouldn't be able to cover a lot of content. So um, we tried to, to reject anybody, but we tried also to give the viewers the best content we could. So therefore we did end up picking seven individuals, including myself, um, and we're still going to try to involve all the other uh, applicants in some way or form, um, you know, whether it be a, a guest week every now and then, or substituting in, or obviously if one of the channel members can't do it anymore, have to leave the channel for some reason, we'll have a whole bunch of other uh, people that are still interested in joining the channel, and so therefore we can refer back to those. So. Anyway, super excited for this, guys. Like, it's a really cool idea. Um, it's been really organized. It's really a professional feeling. Um, there's been a lot of buzz already on social media about it. So I hope you guys get interested in it. Um, let's see. Our Twitter is 7 underscore salty. And our Instagram is staying salty 65 And our YouTube will be staying salty as well. Um, really cool. It has a whole theme to the channel. Uh, right now we're doing a poll on Facebook and Twitter on what topics that viewers want to see covered. Um, so we're trying, we had a whole bunch of suggestions for topics. And we're trying to get um, four topics that we narrowed down that we uh, really like, feel like we could touch on, bring, bring uh, a lot of opinion towards. And we presented those four topics with to, to uh, the social media outlets, so Facebook and Twitter. And we are having the public viewers... Uh, vote on those now and that will end here in the next couple days and then that will pick our first viewer suggested uh, topic week which will be week number two so week number one obviously is um, about us who we are and then we'll probably do either every week or every other week we'll try to do another poll and uh, and get a viewer suggested topic um, picked so really cool idea guys I hope you guys um, like the idea as well um, there's just been so much information thrown at you guys really educational stuff, inspirational stuff, um, really good tips, like just from interviewing these people and talking to them um, through 
all our, our questions that we asked and and we're on a texting thread now and a, a Facebook private group and everything like that. And just from communicating back and forth with these guys, like there's so much I've already learned about them and and things I never knew before about CF or different stories. So really cool. I hope you guys will get the same experience out of it. So let's go ahead and open up this Gorilla Pod and see if we can work with it in the gym. Uh, All right, right guys. Back. So um, I open up the Gorilla Pod. I have it set up here on my steering wheel. Um, pretty darn cool. I think this is going to be perfect for the gym. Um, so hopefully from now on, I will get footage for you guys every week, Fridays. I'll probably film, and then hopefully by the weekend or so, I'll, I can upload it. But anyway, um, excited about this. I think it's going to be cool. I'm going to test it out tomorrow. So on Sunday, I'm going to film um, and try to upload a video for you guys. So I will see you guys later in the next video. And uh, stay tuned for that new channel coming up. And of course, now stay tuned for some uh, workout footage coming. All right, guys. I will see you later. Have a good one. Bye.